Welcome back 10th standard. Let us see how the construction we did in the last video is justified. I would like to go over the steps we used in the last video and then I will tell you how the construction is justified and how you can write your answer. So the first thing we did was we started with the line segment of the given length AB which was 7.6 centimeters and afterwards we have constructed an angle of 30 degrees at the end point A. Let's just move it to this side. So what we did was we constructed an angle of 30 degrees at the vertex A. I'm going to just show it for the sake of representation. And uh, this angle was 30 degrees. Afterwards, we divided this arm AX by cutting off arcs spaced equally from each other 13 times. So this would be A1, A2, A3. Assuming that the distance between two points is one unit. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Let's quickly name these. After this, we have to join the last point obtained along this arm with the other end point. So this is what we have to do. And we get a triangle by doing this. So as you can see, we now have a triangle ABA13 in which angle BAA13 is equal to 30 degrees. And if I have to write down what's the length of AA13, I can say that it's 13 units, the total length. The next step was to draw a line parallel to BA13 from A5. And in order to do that, the angle from A13, this angle was copied at this point and then we draw a line right through that in order to obtain a parallel line to the base of the triangle. I hope you all are aware how to copy an angle from one point to another point. So after we have done this, we obtain this line segment through A5. Let's say that the line segment that we have drawn while copying the angle from the vertex A13 at A5 meet the line segment AB at P. Then we say we said that AP is to PB is 5 is to 8. How do we know this? This is what we want to prove. So in triangle ABA13 we have a line segment from A5 up to AP which is parallel to the base of the triangle. So by BPT, by basic proportionality theorem, the ratio of the parts of the other two sides will be equal. So AP over PB will be equal to AA5 over A5A13. Now you can write down that the length for this is 5 units and the length for A5A13 is 8 units. So from A up to A5, this is 5 units. And from here up to A13, this is 8 units. And this justifies that the ratio for the two parts that we have obtained, AP is to PB, is what we require.